Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It is still the 17th of December and I'm still here at the Mecca Masjid. And by the way, I met one of my uh, brothers, uh, Kaiser Ahmed, and he is running for uh, U.S. Congress District 31. And I just wanted to have, give him the opportunity to uh, have some uh, words for us. And it's going to go in Islam, uh, one discreet. Uh, the US uh, website. Uh, Salam alaikum, brother. Uh, you, you, got, you, got, you can say whatever, and I'm gonna put this in my website well, with, with your permission. So tell me what, what you got to offer and uh, give me a little bit about yourself. Hi, my name is Kaiser Ahmed, and I'm a retired school teacher. I taught for 28 years, retired now. I also taught 11 different colleges, universities in Southern California for 32 years. And I have a yearning to serve people in some areas. Like I have, the first thing I'm going to fight for is to protect Medicare and Social Security. I don't want them privatized. If they're privatized, what could happen is if the stock market goes down like it went down today, over 260 points, then people's Medicare, Social Security benefits may go down also. I don't want that. Second thing, college is becoming very expensive. It is a shame that corporations borrow money cheaper than students do to pursue their higher education. I want to make college more affordable. That's the second thing. Third thing, I want to make sure that overall there are more dollars, federal dollars for education. I want to fight for those things. And inshallah, with your help, if all the Muslims and their relatives and their family, their neighbors vote for me, inshallah, we can do it on primary, California primary on June 7th, 2016. Barakallah. Inshallah. Inshallah. Barakallah. 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 And thank you very much. And, thank you, brother. Uh, uh, and I wanted to add some to this note. Thank you, brother. I will, yeah, I will be there. And I will be there. I promise you. I want to add some note. That's exactly what I've been talking about. Uh, Prophet, uh, privatization of the health care, of the social security. Where I've already been fighting with for you know about that and everybody knows all the you know the uh, share cost and so on and so forth and all the uh, the nine people the uh, service push them to the curve uh, and if uh, and then have all these collection agencies after them yeah bankrupt them crimes it's not violation anymore again. It is financial crimes against the masses, against everyone, that they can get away with it. And uh, brother here hopefully uh, will uh, make a dent and uh, a difference. And we need to get more uh, right-thinking individuals like my brother here. And uh, inshallah, we might have a chance. Uh, that's it. And now I just uh, want it in a final note. This is what we do at the mosque. This is what the, uh, everybody here does. I don't see any uh, uh, plotting or planning a bombing or a terrorist or what have you. People are visiting, eating, and having fun. And some of them are praying. This is what we do in the mosque. And I would really appreciate for the FBI and uh, the sheriff departments and uh, you know all the law enforcement and uh, the news media to leave us alone like any other uh, religious community or church or what have you. We don't need we don't need all of this. We don't need all of this. Okay. Again, we are and and we don't have to sit there and defend our faith. We are not. Uh, denying who we are, we are not going to go away, and we are the people of an old and the right creed, Deen of Allah, Deen of Allah, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah, that's it. So I would really appreciate it if we be left alone, and uh, you know, uh, we go really chase the what is so-called terrorist. We are not uh, in, uh, you know,
Anyway, we're not going to be. Uh, uh, she's the real terrorist that he committed crimes against the masses here within our neighborhoods and streets. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now I got to go eat.